All right, welcome back. I'm going to try this 4563 spot again. We're kind of starting here in the um, mid morning. And um, I do want to have one. There's a couple decent roach orders. So I'm going to put peas. We need to get some more peas. I'm going to put peas on this one. We're going to do like a little um, six clip here. Try to put them just right in those lilies. But other than that, so that first rod we'll put some fun stuff on. But the second rod, we're going to approach this from a little smarter. I want to test just kind of doing bread during the day and night using like worms and maggots and stuff and just see like what the results are like with the really cheap bait and hopefully a little like higher bite rate. Well, 11 is good. So instead of slowing the bite rate down with like the specialty baits like we've been doing in this spot we're gonna chill now as you can see we are probably leveling on whatever the first fish is that we catch which means make a little silver here we may just have our first trip to quarry if we have enough silver to kind of at least afford some basics I'm really excited about doing this but I'm also nervous like I I don't know how it's gonna go having to use spinner baits and limited limited gear size like I'm kind of nervous so during this episode my hope is that we'll make some silver and then I'm gonna start purchasing I think we're going to get that spinning rod combo, even though that, well, we're going to look at the reels, actually, before I decide to do that. I like the rod that that spinning reel comes with. I think that's a good first option for a trolling rod. And so we'll probably get, if we do get the combo, we'll get the combo. And then we'll also get another rod of that same model, maybe one of the different actual model numbers. But all right, this will probably level us up here. Ooh, it didn't. It was a marker and it still didn't level us. All right, so that was on bread. Decent roach. Again, there's a small and big roach order. So there we go. Nope. So if we can get some decent roach here, then um, we may be able to hit both of those levels. There we go. That's a roach to level on. M dog roach. New level. I like it. So I'm hoping with the peas, we'll get big enough roach that we'll be able to hit the big roach order. We'll see though. Y'all notice anything different about this spot? I sure certainly have.
How about this? Did the Trucian Gibbles move out? The Crucian Gibbles? Or is it just... Just weird right now? This is an absolutely roach paradise right now. See if anyone has a favorite spinner for uh, Corey. We'll just choose a couple if they don't, but I'm just curious. That is a decent question, like, can I f afford a second Adriatica and two spinning rods? Would that be better than getting something a little undersized from an Adriatica? I don't know. This place is crazy right now, isn't it? We caught one Crucian, messed up our streak. So we definitely want to get at least one Aquila 7 grand. I mean, I was definitely planning on that, but that sort of confirms that. Thank you for that advice, Juris. I mean, this is a great spot right now. Imagine if you're level 4. Now, let's imagine you're level 6. You've got your feeders, your beginner feeders set up. I mean... This is like just leveling paradise right here with the bite rate with these roaches. And then at night, we'll switch to um, all meat, worm, maggots, and night crawlers. All right, so the 03, 04, and 07. Hey, I will take that advice. All right, guys, let's go see how, we, how close we are on the cafe order. And let's also see, well, first of all, do I have my sticky notes still? Yeah. All right, so. Lures. Whatever they're called, Agila. 003, 004, 007, and these are the 7 gram. That's right. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's a crucian. I mean, a gibble.
I mean, this bite rate, guys, is awesome. Float would probably be really good here, too. we learned this trick about peas. Peas are killing it for the roach. Look how little experience we've gotten into 16 with all those fish. <laughs> uh, we, could tr we could take a practice troll around mosquito. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done that before. I've never trolled mosquito in my whole life. Okay, so the little roaches... Oh, that's beautiful. Eight silver for five roaches that aren't markers. We're almost there on the other order, too. And then we might get there on the small crucian order. And we may get there on the gibble order as well, but we want small gibbles for that. Just real quick. I'm not going to buy them right now, but I want to see of those. Um, who makes the Achilles 7 gram? Karuna does. Oh, they're all in stock. So if we got three, that would basically be 80-something silver. That'd be a pretty good start. We could do a lot worse than just having three of those, you know. That might even get us started. I don't know that we would need a whole lot else. I'll see what colors those are that they recommended. See if there's at least one that's a little darker for... It's really overcast. fish in 10 minutes oh gosh what am I saying way more than that we filled up that order and remember off these two lines we're using bread which we currently have almost 1200 pieces so it's basically like free at this point you know it's just like this kind of bite rate and we're just straight profit with that I still have the 3.2 liter on this guy I do see I don't need to leave that on there like that because it will mess me up if I'm not prepared for it
I bet we have enough for the bigger roach order now. Insane bite rate. good way to level up your bottom fishing too or whatever type of fishing you're doing in this spot because there's so many fish I mean look how much progress we've made towards 50 once we sort of circle back to doing some bottom fishing after this quarry expedition it'll be nice to open up inline rig and if we have the points at that point to even start putting points in them, I think that'll increase our trophy rate in some of these spots that we're targeting certain fish. and two fish a minute more than that because of the cafe orders we turned in but at least two fish a minute right now it's a nice crucian
Great cow reach level 16. Christian. Been impressed with how many of those nice roaches has actually just come off the bread. A lot of them have been the peas too, but the bread has been doing great. more silver. Three more silver. Uh, how much time is left on this order? Plenty of time. We might end up with some small, small enough, small ones to do it that way. We've gotten a ton off of cafe orders though. And 21 more silver still to sell. It's been a good day of fishing here at Mosquito. It's like just garbage fish spot. So coming out so fast. It's almost time to switch everything over to night baits. I think I want to switch this one first. You could still catch fish off the peas at this time of night, but since we're just going to night crawlers, uh, I think we just go ahead and do it. Keep the bread on a little longer before going to worms and maggots.
Great Cow's asking about. He has two points in simple bottom rig and two points in ground bait. Which one to do next? All I know is that third point in ground bait gets you into a spot where you'll make a lot a lot of um, 7 to 10 quality ground bait. Um, not every time, but a lot of the time. That third point seems to be a big deal. on this one. This will probably slow it down some. But the bread would have eventually slowed down at night anyway, I think. And then just worms on this one. Again, worms, something we have over a thousand of. Mine was in English. Wow. attention I know I reeled in a couple fish I think we got that small sleeper on the night crawlers I don't know what the roach was on maybe the worms or maybe maggots I'm not actually sure Is my name on Discord?
All right, so this is on worm. Another nice roach. We're using all Crucian Gibble ground bait at this point. We were using roach ground bait on the peas earlier. That is also a roach, yeah. Roach don't care what ground bait you got on, to be honest. I don't know, maybe the roach ground bait helps you get a trophy, but they literally don't care. All right, there's a personal record for number of fish caught in a day, but you knew that was coming. I mean, this crazy spot. We're still averaging two fish a minute, I think, after the cafe orders. What the heck? Ray Cow just had a big old trophy gibble. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> I just made some Crucian gibble ground bait before this episode and we were almost out. Okay. That's a bream. You know, it is weird to me the number of marker bream that we're catching in this spot. If you use, I, mean, I guess the only thing I haven't tried is just like throwing pearl barley there. Would that work? I guess it might. But if you use um, night crawlers or maggots, maybe even worms in this spot, you will see bream occasionally. I don't think it's such a strong bream spot that you could just fish for bream. Per I don't think, although I really haven't tried it.
Uh, how do I do this? That's a pretty nice gibble on worms. All right, so how do I... So now let's see will it open the 1.5 version if I do that Wow No that's 1.3 still create a shortcut to 1.5 we're catching some interesting things just off worms here bream really big gibbles the value of the fish of course has gone way up at night the frequency of bites maybe isn't the same all right so what if I do Wow that's the new one. Yeah, so the Biggest problem with nightcrawlers is just their bite frequency. Good chance of trophies, but it's the bite frequency. And I'd say maggots have kind of slowed down. I mean, everything just sort of has slowed down this time of night. But when you do get a fish, it's usually pretty decent. And worms has maybe been the most consistent. Maybe start off with maggots and night crawlers and switch to worms around two in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. All I know is we're up to 60 fish. And we're starting to get some bigger ones. about to spend a bunch of silver now if you have no interest in spin fishing 
you could you're basically trying to get to 18 so you can fish for carpet bear so you could skip spending the money on spin gear at quarry you might still be able to bottom fish at quarry some if the char are biting and the burbot at night but you would just sp skip the spin fishing and you would use the silver that I'm about to spend on all the spinning setups on um, a really nice feeder. So like we could get the Sabre 60 right now and be pretty close to getting a really nice feeder ride like the Fortuna FD420 to go with it. And you would have a feeder rod that would last you you could even fish it at bear at 18. You know, you're going to want to be thinking about upgrading to alphas at that point, but it could get you started, potentially. But for anything less than carp, you pretty much at that point have a feeder set up that'll last you the rest of the game for anything that's not like carp size or bigger. So like all of the bream fishing, chub, eyed, um, some carp fishing, burbot, um, all the little species, medium sized species. So you could skip the part that we're about to do, but honestly, spin fishing and trolling first at quarry and then Volkov and then later even at Tuba can be really fun. It can be very lucrative. And so it's worth trying, but if you're just really not into it and just want to keep doing bottom fishing and start working on carp gear, like I think that's viable. Some people do that. Hey, there's a sleeper. Yeah, I kind of want to try that. I mean, I don't know. Like maybe before we go to Corey, if it's not, if it happens to be nighttime, um, Gray cow call. I think is that is that what you caught the. So at that thirty five forty nine spot, over there somewhere, um, he was using semolina all night long. He had a trophy gibble, and then everything else was markers. He's saying so. That is a pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty cool report from Gray cow, and you could also do like two semolina and one night crawlers if you wanted to still have the chance of the really huge night crawler trophy but I was afraid I picked it up too early and I would just keep going like this until about 5 a.m. and then switch back to day baits maybe a little past 5 I mean just see how the bite by frequencies going but you could switch to peas and start catching really big roaches again you know we're going to be at a hundred fish i mean i'm not going to stay that long but i mean you're easily going to catch a hundred fish in this spot in one 24-hour period once you turn in cafe orders and stuff that starts to whittle it down some but i mean you really can't ask for a more active spot if you are at a lower level I mean, you're going to level so fast on the amount of like marker, roaches, crucians, gibbles, occasional sleepers, bream. I mean, this spot has got it all. It really is a, well, at least right now it's like a roaches haven, but you're getting some other stuff too. I mean, how many roach do we have? Holy cow. So good.
Sorry if I'm a little lower energy tonight. I feel like I am. I don't know if I seem that way, but honestly, my stomach's been a little messed up for the last 12 to 18 hours, and I just don't have a lot of energy, but I'm trying to trying to start feeling a little better. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's probably time we start switching back to day baits if we were going to keep fishing here too long. Gonna go back to day baits for just a couple minutes here. Just see what the transition's like. All right, so it's transitioning back to daytime really nicely. Um, All right. 
we know we got to put our put our rods in while we're we'll see if I can make up my mind here what we want to do I might be able to we'll see okay we can definitely do this one now That's it. So we did four orders in no time at all. And 58 more silver. I'm sure we did well over 125 silver or so in total. That puts us up over the 1300 mark. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Let's just get them in there. Trying something a little weird, you know, at least there's been, in some places, the white bream have been really going for the sweet dough. So let's just, let's just see what happens with a couple of sweet doughs and one, one worm. Doing about a 20, 21 clip out into the five meter hole while we go look at stuff. Okay, so we have that Adriatica. Um, The Siberia Linear is the one that I like, and this is the S78MH. So let's go to the Siberia Linear um, here. 78H. It has a test of 10 to 30. It goes up to 13.5 kilo. But if you look down here, This one goes up to 15 kilo. And um, has a reasonable test, 12 to 45 grams. It's 500 silver though. We're gonna be cutting it really close. So like if we got that for the Adriatica, overload it to 10, and then we get this setup the problem is this this dragon is not that good a reel so we're going to be limping around Corey with this reel until we can afford something a little better Hercules would be a better option than that dragon. I wish the Hercules is what that set came with. It's a 288 silver reel. It's just not that good a reel. But what's the other option? like two of these that'd be 430 that would leave us like 800 silver we can almost get a saber 40 I think the Proton Pro 6000 is in stock somewhere. Is it, um, I've got it on that note, don't I? Is it 
winding, yeah, it's 1100. So we'd have to earn a little more silver. I mean, that's just a better option long term. could get the Proton Pro 6,000. It goes to eight and a half. That would leave us like 600 and some change. And then we're not spending too much on rods in case we don't stick with spin fishing and we've still got a reel that grows with us. Because the Adriatica is what? 7.5. So technically the Proton Pro is slightly stronger. Sorry, the Proton 6000, not the Proton Pro. The difference in this and the Proton Pro 6000 is um, it's almost double and you're going from 8.5 to 9.5 but it's a much qual higher quality reel I think we just do the proton I don't want to get the dragon we're kind of stuck in like middle step there and so like when we go back to feeder fishing we've got this six kilo reel that's just not that great for for feeder fishing I think we get this. I think we get this. I haven't used one of these in a long time. I think they're okay. Let's just do it, right? Okay, we have a Proton 6000. All right, let's go check our lines. And I at least want to get the Adriatic out of the water because I want to set up these, these rigs. What have we caught here? Whoa. Oh, yeah, I've got 3.2 liter on this. Is that a roach? Because we've caught a lot of roach today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the Percy feeder and disassemble it. How's that Adriatica doing on? We've gotten some friction brake wear, but it's not bad. It's not time to repair it yet. All right, and we also caught a pretty nice on sweet dough. Actually, you know what? Let's don't throw that back out. We're pretty close to setting these rods up, so let's just... made 4.8 silver while we were just sitting there. All right, so we need a couple of rods, a couple of spinning rods, right? They just, I mean, basically they just have to be over 10 kilos. I think the comma comfort is what we want. But I don't want extra heavy. Heavy might be okay. Is that the rod for us? It's just really not enough strength. The load capacity is only 11. 
And if we're talking about putting 10 kilo liters, that is just cutting it really close. But it's like 430 silver versus Actually, okay, so that goes up to 13.1. The test is a little higher, but we can probably make it work. So it's a little bit more appropriate. Ideally, what we want, I guess, is, well, this one goes up to 15.4. This would kind of be the ideal range, right? I still say this is just a really good trolling rod for the price. I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one and I'm gonna see. Um, all right, we gotta be, get lined for it. All right, so we're gonna go 10 kilo, four carbon liter. So we really want like just over 10 line, right? Um, braided line. I think there was, we don't really want to go to 13. I think it was this one. Yeah, 10.2. What's the other color they have? Like that color. I think this is what we want. All right, so now we've got line liter, and then this is a four gram. We're gonna be using seven gram. Let's see how far seven gram lure throws with this test. Um, we were gonna get the three, four, and seven. Three, four, and seven. I also like the five a lot and the one. But we'll start with these three, four, and seven. All right. So now. Imagine we're in the back of a boat and we're just trying to get it far enough to troll. We're so going to get spooled on this, aren't we? do is try it I think that's far enough to troll though and we just stand a better chance of not snapping our rod okay Now what are we going to pair the Adriatica with? Probably the same thing. I think we're going to have two rods that look exactly the same. And then we need the same line, except for this time we'll go with the slightly different colored.
How much silver do we have left? Hundred twenty-three. We also have to be able to travel there if we don't do any more fish fishing. Four and the seven, and we have to buy a boat pass. have spent our silver again I think that's far enough to far enough to troll well I'm anxious to see how it's going to go There's no telling, no telling at all. But I think these, I think these little um, heavy express fishing heavies are just nice. You just want like little short spinning pole, spinning rods you can handle as you're trolling, especially since you're sitting down for most of it. I think that's a reasonably good start. But I don't know. I won't know till we're out there. See how doable it is. Okay. We got to wrap this ep episode up. I think next time we're going to go to Quarry because we have 67 silver. Uh, that's enough to travel and buy a boat pass. We'll try it. What's the worst that can happen? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. I'll see you next time. Thanks.